Hey guys, it's Dylan Risser here, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the Palomino Paws, our XC 20.2. It is one of two floor plans that we currently have right now. What I wanna to do today is just kinda of point out some cool features that we put on here. All aluminum frame, it is huck riveted, so we don't have any welds on it whatsoever. And then what we did is we put a airbag suspension on here, so each individual wheel is fully independent with airbags on them as well. You can raise and lower it approximately 12 inches. And when it's all said and done, when you're all the way up, you get about 25 inches of ground clearance, which is pretty cool. Uh, industry leading. As you can see back here, it's our outside kitchen. We gave you a large fridge freezer, 12 volt microwave, a griddle stovetop combo, a large pantry, a spice rack. We give you a, a sink here as well, and that's hot and cold water. You can take this off here, it pops right off. You can put a hose in there too. I got some outlets in the back as well. So now we're at the front, and what I want to point out to you is our Truma cooler. So we do have a fridge on the back, but we also give you a Truma cooler as well, and this is dual zone. So what you could do is you could have half of it being a fridge, half of it being a freezer, or all freezer, or all fridge, whatever you prefer. And it is 12 volt as well. We have a Thule legless awning. It is 14 foot. It also has a wind sensor on it as well. It'll retract in if it gets super windy. You got your Moride aluminum triple steps. Those will actually fold up in when you're traveling. So what we have here is our large A-frame storage box. On this side here, we conceal your power tongue jack because usually your power tongue jack's on the front. Well, we concealed it in the storage box. So that way you can lower your tailgate. Give it a little storage on top as well. And then also places for you know extra belongings that you bring and can, you can tie it down with these tie downs here. On the front, this is our articulating hitch. Basically everything on the front side here in black is gonna be polyurea coated. Essentially it's kind of like a rhino liner that you put in the bed of your truck. And then we also give you a large light bar as you see here, it's 50 inches long, a couple skylights as well on the front. So when you're laying in bed on the inside, you're looking up, you can see the stars, it's really cool. All right, so now we're on the driver's side of the pause here. I wanna show you the pass-through storage here. We gotta give you a lot of room through there. But you see in there also we have our air compressor. So what that does is it inflates the airbags on your suspension. So it allows you to inflate your tires on your truck or your bikes that you bring along. So to do that and inflate them back up, we just gave you a port right next to the tires here. Uh, what we got here is some brush guards. And what we have here is some ports for your portable solar panels. What we offer you is a option to get two 300 watt portable solar panels. You've got your Fergati tankless water heater. Here's part of your suburban furnace here as well. 20,000 BTU furnace that we have on the inside. And we give you your ladder on the back here. So this gives you access to the roof. The whole thing is a composite wall, floor and also ceiling. It's two pieces of fiberglass that's thermally bonded and there's insulation on the inside. We've actually taken sledgehammers to these walls and they just bounce right off when you're swinging at full force. Shore power, 30 amp. And then this back here is your Nautilus system. So that's good to use when you're filling up your tanks. Some recovery hooks on the bottom. That way if you or your buddy gets stuck, easily pull them out. So we're at the back of the paws now. And this is one of my favorite parts here. So what we give you is we'll give you two swinging tire carriers and two spare tires. And when you get to the campsite, you want to access to the back rear storage area. What you do is just unlatch it here. You can open it up. You're in your out position. You can open up your door to the back here. This gives you access to more storage in the rear. Your fishing rod holders are up there as well. These Moride steps here, they actually flip up which is super beneficial because what you can do is you can have all the dirt on the outside. So when you flip up your stairs and when you're ready to go and they latch in, all the dirt's uh, on the outside. We'll give you some recovery boards. If you're stuck, well, you can put one underneath the tires. It gives you a little more traction and hopefully uh, get out of the predicament or uh, whatever you're in. We also give you a drop down table back here. There's two Battleborn batteries. Both are 270 amp hours. Then we have a Victron electrical system. We give you a 3000 watt inverter, give you two 50 amp solar chargers. Uh, and then also we give you um, uh, 600 watts of solar on the roof. And then we give you an option to double that as well. So with that uh, upgrade option, you get 1200 watts of solar and 1080 amp hours of lithium battery. So you're pretty much good to go for a weekend away. You can definitely run off uh, the batteries in solar that you have on here. 
All right, so now we're on the inside. And as we look up front here, uh, this is what we offer you for your sleeping area here. So when you're ready to go to bed, what this is is a rollover sofa. This will fold all the way down. It's a tri-fold mattress, and that way it's concealed when you're when you're in here during the days and you don't have to deal with your mattress. T-shirt closets on both sides here. Give you some nice reading lights on each side. We also give you outlets on each side. And these are those awesome windows I was talking to you about. So when you're laying here in bed, you can look up through the windows. We have a skylight as well, and those also have shades on them too. So if you wanna totally conceal this thing and have no sunlight come in, you can definitely do so. All right, so here's your indoor kitchen area. We'll give you a drop-in sink here, induction cooktop. Do offer you a small fridge as well, so you don't have to go outside. As we look around, you notice that the cabinets are all aluminum. So nothing in here is wood. Absolutely no wood on this unit whatsoever. Everything is soft clothes. And as we look over here, this is your entertainment wall. We give you a, a TV, a fireplace. This also uh, gives you a little heat as well. And my favorite part about this floor plan is this is actually a lockable vault. Hide your belongings, whatever you bring along, your valuables, you can stick them in here. And this is all controlled by our Garmin app. All right, so now we're in the bathroom. Give you a large shower here as well. You notice here right away, you know, easily six, three, six, four foot guy can get in here and you know, plenty of space. Fiberglass shower surround. We don't put any glass in here because you don't want to have rattling around and glass shattering, anything like that. Got your porcelain toilet back here. Give you some storage back here as well. Places to put your belongings from home all the way down here and then this storage up here actually goes to the back uh, we already talked about the rear storage a little bit those are your fishing rod holders there and also finally you got your max fan in here uh, that's actually controlled by the garmin tablet as well you can open and close it have that fan going all with the click of a button this is the garmin tablet that we provide you guys it pretty much controls everything on the unit so this is kind of our home screen here it shows you your battery power shows you the temperature inside, outside, shows your tank levels. This is where you can open and close your, your fan or your vent in the back. And you can control your furnace, you can control your AC. Go through it here. This is your lighting page. This controls all the lights on the inside. So just tapping one of these buttons here, I can turn on and off the lights. Some are dimmable as well. As you see here, you can just slide it. You can dim your lights. This page here is for your suspension and also for your lights again, and also your awning. So if I press extend here and hold, right now the awning is going out. You kind of see it on the outside a little bit here. And then here's your wind sensor. So if I can turn that to one, that's kind of the, the, the low setting, and this is the high setting. So if it's super windy, that way the awning retracts itself and you don't have any problems with the wind. Uh, this is for your stabilizer jacks here and also the power tongue jack here. This is for your tank levels. If I press check tanks, see there's nothing in there right now, but if they were full, it'll show you where it was at. This is for your battery system, your electrical system, shows you, you know, what the battery life is at right now, if your inverter is on or off, shows you how many uh, uh, volts of uh, energy we're bringing in from solar. And then finally, this is your, your last page, so this controls all your suspension. So when you get to the campsite here, you press preset one or whatever uh, preset you like to camp at. What it'll do is actually uh, lower itself all the way down. It'll put its, the, the jacks down on the front and the rear, your power tongue jack down, all by a press of a button. So you don't have to do anything, which is really cool. And then over here, we do offer you cameras on all four sides. So. That way in you're sleeping, you hear something going on the outside, well you just check your cameras and see what's going on. You don't even have to get up. 